Hi, it's John here from GPS Training. What we're gonna do in this short video is look at the best budget GPS unit currently on the market. In this category, I put the Garmin eTrex SE, eTrex 22X, eTrex 32X, and the Garmin GPS Map 65 and 65S. It's quite a very, very price range, because we're going from £149.99 for the SC right up to £349.99. So there's quite a wide price uh, difference between each of these units. But I'll go into a little bit more details of why I've chosen the ones I have. Straight away, we're gonna have to take two of these GPS units away. And the ones we're gonna take away is eTrex 22X and the Garmin GPS Map 65. The reason for that is neither of those GPS units have what we call an electronic compass. The electronic compass gives you accuracy at small movements. If you think about it, GPS works on satellites thousands of miles above, so when you turn, rotate it through 90 degrees, it would traditionally do nothing. With that electronic compass, it will orientate the map accordingly and gives you that increased accuracy that you really need from an outdoor GPS unit. Because what you tend to do is when you've lost or you're unsure what you should, where you should be going, first thing you tend to do is stop. And that's when these two units actually stop working. They need to be moving for them to be working. So if you can afford it, I would always go for a GPS unit with an electronic compass. These also do not have what's called barometric altimeter, which gives you more accurate height data. But again, that's less relevant than the electronic compass. So straight away, we'll take away the Garmin GPS Map 65 and the 22X. So that leaves us with three GPS units. Garmin eTrex SE, 65 and the and th so eTrex SE 32X and the GPS map the 65. eTrex SE is a relatively new unit and um, it's just got a black and white screen on it so if you're just wanting your GPS as a bit of a backup tremendous battery life on this uh, on this unit um, and again you can't put ordnance survey maps in there but you can still plan your routes on ordnance survey maps and transfer them onto this GPS unit and then it will navigate with you. This GPS unit with it being a very new unit to the market is made to work alongside a mobile phone so you can download GPX files onto your mobile phone and wirelessly transfer that onto the GPS unit. None of these other two GPS units you can do that with and again that just shows how this new technology has come into this Garmin eTrex SE. If you want to use a GPS unit alongside a mobile phone that has a colour screen on it there for ordering the survey maps on it, you have to look at the video at the best top end GPS unit because those, those units at the top end in the Garmin world are the ones that work alongside a mobile phone except for the Garmin eTrex SC. So if you just wanted a backup GPS unit, £149.99, measures how far you've walked, average speed, how long you've been stopped for, and also can navigate a route or a track, but it doesn't have any ordnance survey maps on it, Garmin eTrex SE is a really good uh, value for money outdoor GPS unit. Again, just coming in at £149.99. And then we jump onto the Garmin eTrex 32X. I often say it's the best budget GPS unit currently on the market because of where it comes in. Is that currently it's coming in at £224.99 um, with a 65S coming in at £349.99. So there's a hundred pounds between these two GPS units. So eTrex 32X, really nice um, compact GPS unit, great on battery life because it's powering that smite a slightly smaller screen. And again, you can put on and survey maps on, on this GPS unit. It's got the electronic compass on it. So if you're looking for a compact GPS unit, I often think as well is screen size is less important if you use your GPS properly. What I mean by that is if you plan your routes before you go, the majority of the time, you're actually just gonna be following an arrow on the screen. So actually between the size of the different screens is, are you gonna be following a big arrow or a small arrow? It's as straightforward as that. It's so therefore a small screen GPS unit like this eTrex 32X meets a lot of people's requirements. Great value for money, and again, we can put ordnance survey maps on this GPS unit. At the moment, it's got what's called topoactive mapping, which it comes preloaded with, which is European mapping. But again, really to get full potential out of it, you need to buy it with ordnance survey mapping if you can afford it. Garmin GPS Map 65S. If you can afford it, this is what I would be looking at. I always think, think of the GPS ranges as, as, as makes of cars. So eTrex 32X, the greatest effect is the Ford car. This is the top Ford car. The GPS map series 
is your Mercedes in the car world. So what we're looking at here is the bottom of the top end range of GPS units by Garmin. Benefits of this is slightly larger screen on it, but we get these buttons underneath. Therefore, it's really easy to, to use. Again, with big thick gloves on, um, it's, it's great, great and, and easy to use. It's also what we call multi-band, so it works off five satellite systems, takes two signals off each satellite, and therefore it's hugely accurate as well. Just to go back to the 32X, this works off a little joystick. I have no problems with that joystick, but as you maybe know, we deliver training course around the country, and I sometimes see people struggle with that joystick, because you've got to move it to the relative icon, and then press down on it, and some people struggle, especially with gloves on, to utilize that pressing down, they end up jumping to the top menu and I seem to get a little bit frustrated. But with this, you've got a big rocker in the middle and just press it and it will take you to the relevant pages. Again, we can get all in survey mapping on the 65S. Again, runs off AA batteries and again, with it powering that smaller size screen, it's, um, it's, it's, it's not, not hungry on batteries. Like. So, if you can afford it, go for the eTrex 65S. 32X, nothing wrong with it, really good GPS unit if you're on that bit, a bit of a budget. If, if you just want a GPS as a bit of a backup, something to refer to. And again, you're not um, you, you're more a map person that wants the, uh, wants the benefits of a GPS unit, but you're gonna be using your map the majority of the time, a paper map, you would go for the eTrex SC. Next thing you need to think about is what maps we're putting on our GPS unit. We've got a couple of map options available. And I'm going to quickly show you the 1 to 25k map card. We sell very few budget GPS units with a 1 to 25k map card. Re the reality is this map card is worth more than that GPS unit is. So therefore, if you are going to be spending an extra £300, it's actually a £349.99 product, but you get it discounted when you buy it in with your units. If you are buying a 125k map card, you tend to be putting it into a top-end GPS unit, e.g. you're going to be spending six, seven, eight hundred pounds, aren't you? So what most people tend to use with the Garmin um, eTrex 32X or the 65S is a one to 50K map card. Normally 200 pounds, when you buy it in with your unit, you actually get it at half price. So it just adds a hundred pounds onto each of those GPS units. So you go from 22499 to 32499, or we're going from 34999 to 44999. Again, make sure you buy it in with your unit. Again, 200 pound map card, you're getting it half price when you get in with the M1. One of the biggest mistakes people make, buy the GPS unit and then suddenly realize it's got no Orden survey maps on it and you then, then they realize it's actually gonna be a, a further 200 pounds. So make sure you buy it as a bundled product. Again, you'll see on the product page uh, from the drop down menu, you can choose what mapping option you want to. I must say both these units come preloaded with the European, the top of active mapping, which is that very basic mapping. And then really you should be, if you can afford it, buying it with a 1 to 50K map card as well. Nice thing about that is you can still plan on 1 to 25K mapping. On the GPS training website, you'll see on the top menu of our OS planner, it enables you to plan on 1 to 25K mapping and overlay it on 1 to 50K mapping. And then as I said, the majority of the time, you're just gonna be following an arrow on the screen when you're navigating that route. And then, the, um, and then the map is just an image in the background. The only time you need to use the ordinary survey map, if you need to bail out or something along those lines, you do need to know where the rights away are so you can make yourself down safely. Well, the couple of things to mention is, when you get your unit from GPS training, it's not just box or GPS unit in, we set it up before it leaves us. You also get a quick start guide for each of the units, which takes you through what you need to know to get you to grips with it as well. Um, Garmin Basecamp is, works alongside both these units, which is Garmin's free route planning software. And again, we give you instructions about how to use Garmin Basecamp, uh, both for PC and Mac users. So if you buy online, please make sure you put in the notes to buy uh, whether you're a PC or Mac user, and then, um, and then we can put the relevant paperwork in for you. I very much hope this has helped. Um, if you can get in touch um, with ourselves, if you've got any further questions, Next thing you want to do is, below this video, you'll see some links to what I call the walk and talks. So I do a series of videos where I go for a walk with each of these GPS units. So if you can see, I quite fancy knowing more about the GPS map 65S, look in the link below to the walk and talk on the 65S and you're going to look at a 20 minute video of me going for a walk with that unit, discussing the pros and the cons of it, and very much seeing it working 
on the hill where it should really be reviewed. Again, same for the 32X as well. So once we do a walk and talk on that video, and again, the same for the E-Trex SE. Let me show you how they're working in the hills, then you get um, then you get a really good insight into how they work. Again, going forward, if there's anything we can help you with here at GPS Training, please don't hesitate to get in touch, and uh, many thanks for watching.